Ladies and gentlemen, if I am able to defeat the giant scrub ender dragon, you have to smash the like button in the face. All right, here we go. Challenge starts now. Let's get it. Oh, baby. He's got giant wings. Oh, okay. Every time I get close, he just he just pounces me away. Come on, come on, come on, dude. I'm right on his tail. Hopefully this works. He's at a standstill. Oh, I just did so much damage. No, I was so close. Yes, two hit KO. Wait, I got him, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I took him down. Technically, it was in two hits. So that means you have to leave two likes on today's video. But anyway, in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I was able to, you know, defeat the Ender Dragon in, in two punches. I really thought it would just be one punch, though. First things first, before we get into any craziness today, we need to head down to Bessie because she knows everything and she needs to explain this to me because I'm not really sure how she did this. Bessie, it almost worked. You told me it would be one punch, but we got it in two punches, so... I'm I mean, it's not that bad. But if we check out Bessie's chest right here, you'll notice that we just have a book and quill. Seriously, Bessie, you didn't even want to name this for me? I have upgraded your fist to be as strong as steel. Maybe even stronger than steel. I haven't tested it yet. You can now also upgrade other abilities to turn yourself into an ultimate Minecraft pro. I left some challenges up in the ender chest. If you could defeat all of them, you can keep some of these new abilities. Good luck, love, Bessie. Sweet, so it looks like we have two items to check out today. One of them was the book of skills, and then the other one? I haven't looked at it yet, but it was in my inventory to start. Wait, ho hold up. This says one punch man glove, <laughs> and it does 9,998 attack damage. The thing is, though, I didn't even use this glove in order to punch the Ender Dragon. I probably should have used it, though. More importantly, we have this book of skills, which basically enables me to uh, upgrade my furnace. We have the alchemy, attack speed, cutting, dense skin, digging. The strong fist upgrade is already upgraded. That's why my fists are, you know, super strong, stronger than steel. But we can also upgrade our attack speed. We can get extra health points. It looks like we can go up to 20 HP. We can also upgrade our skin to be as tough as a dragon. Uh, that's a, it stopped working. Okay, so supposedly you need XP in order to upgrade everything. That's XP 9999991. Did that? Okay, cool. I think we have enough XP. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, we can also upgrade our leaping ability. We should probably also get a soft landing. I think that hopefully should be good for now. If there are any other upgrades you guys do want to see in a future video, just let me know. Bessie said I should be able to keep some of these if we're able to take out the ender chest challenges. Not a problem, dude. We got zombie pigmins, stinking shulkers, alpha yetis, something called Lord Boros. I'm not sure if I need... Whoa! Okay. What the flip, dude? What just happened? Uh, uh, uh. Why? Well, I'm not I'm not falling because I because I have wings, but uh, I, I think I'm lost in outer space. Am I able to fly back down, dude? What the heck? Wait, are those the clouds down there? I have no idea what the heck just happened, but I think I may have just jumped a million blocks into the sky. We might as well test out some of our upgrades. Let's try, uh, uh, oh, okay, the creeper just immediately disappeared. Probably got a little bit scared of me. How about an elder fish? What's up, fish creature? Uh, nope, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just wrecked him in the face. Bessie was not kidding when she said that I am now essentially one punch man, except I don't have as cool of a costume on. I do have wings, so I have that on him, but other than that, he has, you know, really cool cape and costume. But I'm pretty sure we're about the same power level. If not, though, I could just use his One Punch Man glove, and then this thing just works as the ultimate tool. <laughs> Girek, what? What? Did I just blast Rodney out of existence? Dude, Bessie should have gave me this thing months ago. I really want to keep these abilities. Leave a like if you guys think I should retain the One Punch powers. I mean, Bessie did say I could keep some of the abilities. I'm not sure which ones she was talking about, but first thing first, I gotta defeat all of these things. Hey, oh, oh god, okay. 
these are the shulker dudes. Zigzag formation. Zigzag. Zigzag. Yes, they're hitting each other. This is so easy. Wait, I forgot. I could just punch it, and then I could punch you, and then I could just punch you. Oh, God, I'm flying. Put me down. Put, put me down, bro. I mean, I did upgrade all my abilities, plus I have wings, so yeah, I, it's literally not gonna do anything. What we got next? Ooh, scary boulder. What's up, Mr. Boulder? Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm sorry. No, I wouldn't do that. I have dense skin, the skin of dragons. I have extra hearts, and I also apparently have fists made of steel. Lucy, Lu oh, oh God, uh, duh, duh, okay. All right, well, uh, technically, guys, I was supposed to kill it, but if you don't tell Bessie, I won't tell Bessie. I gotta be careful, dude, because with great power comes great responsibility. That's what I learned from Spider-Man. But seriously, if any one of my dogs accidentally gets hit by my insanely powerful fists, I'm pretty sure they just disappear. What's up next, Psycho? Psycho Steve, that's a cool looking chainsaw. Nip, nip, nip. No, no, okay, no. I said no like six times. At least now I have this pretty cool looking chainsaw. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if there is anything else you want to see one punched to the face, just let me know by subscribing, turn on notifications, and also be sure to comment any other bosses down below. These ones today, I mean, look, he's super massive, but he doesn't even stand a chance. Okay, all right, you can, you can pick me up and throw me like a volleyball and do anything you want, dude, but I'm pretty sure I'm also invincible. He's just throwing ice balls at me. What a giant scrub. All right, 360, jump another 360, and then just punch him in the... What? What? Wait, wait, ho, uh... No, that's not how this works. Wait a second. I thought I was one punch man. No, so, I'm sorry. Stop crying. Okay, seriously, I should be crying. What is happening? Guys, we got a big problem, okay? A huge holy macaroni problem. I don't think I'm one punch man anymore. I'm also frozen by this guy. All right, fine. I'm using the fist. Everybody, dogs, clear out. Oh, okay. So if I use the fist, I'm one punch man. But now, without it, I don't think I can one punch anything. Twig, get your little pug butt over here, okay? I love you guys, but I really don't need your help today. Actually, thinking about it, I might need their help now that, you know, I can't one punch things. Let's do a little test here. So without the glove, I do nothing. With the glove, I just break stuff in one singular punch. Lucy, what did I say? Seriously, it's dangerous. I don't know what to do. Oh, what just happened? I feel like there may be something Bessie's not telling me about this glove. Lucy, sit the heck down, seriously. All right, I didn't mean to put your face in that block. Here, come on, come on, come over this way. Apparently she likes her head in a block. So when I did that, I right clicked with the one punch glove, which I'm pretty sure just exploded everything. Wait, what if I shift right click? Okay, that time it didn't kill me and I also got extra abilities. Oh, okay, all right. I think I'm starting to figure it out. So if I right click and shift at the same time with the overpowered one punch man glove, I basically basically get insane jump boost. I also get my one punch man powers back. At least I think so anyway, let's test it out. Okay, yep, I am officially now one punch man. Sorry, sorry, yep, okay, sorry, yep, just, I gotta complete the challenges here. Lucy, if you don't stop running around, I'm throwing you in with the Velociraptors. Oh, I think Lucy's actually pretty hungry. Don't worry, Lucy, there you go, all better. Ghost Omega, stop looking at me. I just fed you guys 12 cookies about like 12 seconds ago. So seriously, you guys are already fed. I really hope I still have the One Punch Man powers because this next guy has 550 health. Keep in mind, that is way more than the Ender Dragon. It may even be, I'm pretty sure, almost triple the Ender Dragon health. Plus, he spawns another guys, but whoa, 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 whoa. That's not One Punch. Time out. Boom, explosion. Okay, I think, oh my gosh. Why do I keep jumping? I know I'm gonna fly into outer space every single flipping time. I'm taking off my wings, dude. My wings literally make it take forever to fly back down. And I just realized I'm probably gonna die. Wait, how did I not just die? Well, it looks like I actually exploded the mummies with my one punch man glove because I don't see them anywhere. I still have my strength for another three minutes as One Punch Man until I lose all my powers again. So let's get this really, really wrapped up super quick. Why does Bessie want me to kill a giant dinosaur? I'm really sorry, it's just a test. Little tiny Beck Bro Jack versus dinosaur. Okay, I, I, I think I just made it uh, KO. I feel so bad, dude. Why would Bessie tell me to do that? We also have a giant helicopter. Whoa, okay, I was not ready for that at all. Oh, dude, I forgot I took off my wings. Put on the wings. All right, we're gonna fly up and put this thing in the face. Actually, helicopters don't even have faces. Wait, 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 it's not working. All right, one punch man glove out. Let's get it. Yes, defeated the helicopter or took it down or, or uh, made it explode, took out the engines. All right, whatever the terminology is, I flipping did it. What am I doing? Why, why did I do that? I jumped again. All right, we have one last challenge today and that is Lord Boros, 
which I don't think I've ever fought before. Comment down below who you think is going to win. I believe I have my strength and my haste. So let's test it out. Three, two, one, Lord Boros. This guy looks like a human. Actually, he kind of looks like a bumblebee a little bit. Oh, jeez. Okay, 950 health. He's easily one of the strongest bosses, I think, ever. Oh, uh, he's wrecking my wolf pack. Okay. All right, bro. One punch, man. Yes. That was super easy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's going to wrap it up. Being one punch man makes Minecraft killing just the easiest thing in the entire universe. It looks like Lord Boros was extremely powerful, by the way, because he took out both of my extremely OP wolves in like two single hits. I'm going to heal them up in just a second. If you guys did enjoy today's video, do not forget to just smash the like button in the face with your one punch man fist. Also, guys, be sure to comment down below other bosses that I should take down using the One Punch Man fist thingy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it. I really hope so. Comment down below so that Bessie reads it so that I can finally keep it and not be a pleb anymore. That is going to wrap it up, though. My name is Beckbro One Punch Man Jack, and I will see you guys all hopefully back again here tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.